So creepy finger, you started when it launched on uh, on Steam. So so for you, basically what happened was there was an old UI, and that old UI had a fighting window that could be a lot smaller and gave you a lot of functionality. And hold on one sec. Yes, I have distant oh. terrain checked. Yeah. You turned off your uh, stream. That's what happened. Okay. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll be back in a second. So yeah, the old UI used to have all that information in it before. Yeah. Yeah. That UI had all this information that you're seeing now, had all the, these functionality with the percentage chance and then the color coding of, uh, which direction that you can go to and, and all sorts of stuff. Although this new fighting window has some extra features that wasn't actually available. Actually, no, it didn't have, it doesn't have extra features. It had the ability to see the special, uh, special these special uh, attacks, attacks, uh, doing Jeez. focus and all this stuff. But now this fighting window is sort of like finally back up to par with the old one. And you it added all of the extra functionality seems to work, which is good. I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay. I see these trees. But I don't see the distant trees, you know, like the really distant trees. Okay. So maybe that's enough for now. Maybe it's enough. Yeah, we have yeah. your eyes as well. It's possible. Yeah, so, so at this point, it has more functionality. So Casper's saying that special attacks was just something that they just couldn't get done in time for the steam launch the buttons were ready and waiting just not coded in yet yeah so that's the thing like a bunch of the functionality just wasn't ready yet and i would just assume that they came to the conclusion that you know it's ready enough we can't make it in time we'll look at it after launch and that's what they ended up doing now i'm good with that that part but what i found is that I really like what they did with the border of the fighting window. So you can see, uh, and both of these sort of have it. They both have this really thin border around the fighting window. Yes. That makes it more minimalistic. The problem though, is that if I put it up to here, look at the difference between this border and this border. Look yeah, how like thick border. this border, the the border of the uh, for Adam's sake for chat chat window, not the chat window, but your your stamina bar window, the profile window. Oh, okay, I see. It's even thinner, but yeah, thick. So it's they're just different borders. So, and, and then of course you see the the chat window border, the window border here for the. For the inventory. Quick bar. Quick bar board. Are you back? Are you back up? No. Yeah, yeah I'm back, back up. up. Oh, I need to share it up. I need to share Yeah. It up. Okay, there we go. Okay. So Yeah, so you can you can dock this and it, it fits now a bit better, which is nice. It's, and the target window itself is actually smaller as well than it used to be. There is a couple linden trees there on the other side. But okay, it looks like it's on land. Cats linked a comparison of the fight windows from before and after. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, so let's take a look at that. Let's see if I can turn it on. Right. So the one that was launched the original was the one. New, was the new one that wasn't finished yet. It was like an Yeah, so this is the middle one that we got when the fighting window came out. Or when Steam came out. And then this is the one that we have now. So you can see the difference in the border style. And what what's not being showed here is that this fight window had a toggle to be able to make it so much smaller than what it is here. So you could toggle this one to become really tiny. So you can see here, this is the directions. This is the shielding, uh, same as up here. 
Uh, these, this is the f focus button. This is, uh, I guess this is how high you are versus the mob. Right. And this is how close I like or that. far you are. I like how and this is that. the special items. So this is the, the says, old window. The special moves, you mean? The special moves are supposed to come down this way. Typical says that, well, yeah, that's yeah. the old new window and the new new window, not the classic. Because <laughs> there's like a... <laughs> there is a, a classic old, skin. But yeah, there's an old, it was old, a skin. Old version. Yeah. Right, it wasn't a... As far as right, I'm aware, I don't think it was like a different functionality. It was just a different skin on top different of the skin. the yeah. same functionality. This was a complete redesign. Yeah, because the old, old one was like a grayish blue color. Everything was yeah. grayish blue. Yeah. Yeah, it was a reskin. And you could have both of these skins, the old and new at the same time. Uh, or not the same <laughs> time, Coke, but like... New Coke and new, new Coke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would almost argue, Kate, okay, this one is great. Like the, the borders are great. It's very minimalistic. I wish that then they would go around and add that same border to everything else in the game. Mm. Including the chat window. Yeah, the chat windows. The, even this window, which is really funny. Uh, this is actually a bit thicker and not the same color. I mean, I'm Watch nitpicking at this one, but... Thank you. But it would be nice to have uh, the same design for every single window. Mm -hmm. I mean, my, my, my guess is that they wanted to have that extra border to like switch between the light and dark versions. But I almost feel like mm -hmm. that's not needed. Like, get rid of that extra colored border. Yeah, there was. Uh, we Whoa, talked about it before. Oh, somebody's waving. Hey, wave. Hello, how <laughs> are you? <laughs> so, Antir, so on the new combat window where it has five empty boxes in a line, what's that supposed to be there? So, what's supposed to be there is your special move. So, as you level up fighting, you'll unlock special moves, and when. It's not you your can fighting use them it's yeah it's those not buttons will appear skill. yeah when you can use oh, them it's the not a fighting skill is it the is it the it is the item that you're wearing that the weapon skill, skill. the weapon yeah, skill yeah. so like for example we're using staffs so as we use our staffs our staff skill goes up and it gets to a certain point where it unlocks special moves for the staff and what I recently found out because uh, Sindusk had posted a massive guide to, to fighting and I was reading through that guide and this is something I never knew before was that certain mm -hmm. special moves only show up when you're targeting in a specific direction. So first, so let's say you're fighting a mob and you switch your stance so that you're fighting, you're targeting the left portions that might open up a particular special move that is only available in that left stance. Um, and yeah, each of the special moves are kind of unique to each of the weapons. Yeah, as your skill gets higher in the weapon, then you unlock them. Okay. So it looks like... And there's there's a list of all of the special moves on the on the forum somewhere on the yeah, Wormpedia. Yeah. So let's take a look. Actually, this one's the wiki here. I don't know if it's within fighting special moves. Oh, somebody dropped a rope tool at the bottom of the. So ocean. here they are. So they have different ones depending on the kingdom that you're on. If you're on PBE. We're all Freedom Isles. Okay, before I do that. So they separate them by the type of weapon. So slash, blunt, pierce. Slash, blunt, and pierce. So let's say we're blunt. So we would go down to the Freedom Isles, and here's the, uh, I guess, six. You're going to have to watch where you're going again. 
Here's the six items or special moves. And they kind of give you, I mean, let's go up to the top so you can see the, the titles here. The name of them, which dance that you have to be to get the option, the timer that it takes to, to, I don't know what you say, use the ability, the skill needed that you have, the difficulty that it will be, the amount of stamina cost. I guess it also has a drain after you cast it. What is the puke column? <laughs> <laughs> will you puke? Yes, you will. You will puke. Turn left here. <laughs> yeah, so Antioch asked the, asked the key question. Are these actually worth using, or is it more of a PvP thing? And the answer is, I think even in PvP, it's not even worth using. Um, these special moves have not been fleshed out well enough to balance it to the point where people would want to use them. There, there might be a couple that people use in PvP, but it's like, I don't know. Something has to be changed about the combat system to sort of balance that. The combat system, I think we all know, needs some kind of <laughs> overhaul. And we're hoping that when they do the overhaul, that combat becomes more... Uh, let me turn that off for you guys. Combat becomes more interactive, slightly more interactive, let's say. You know, you had an idea for combat that I thought would just just this small little tweak in the way that it works that would change at least it, the experience of combat. I did. Yeah. Like, you know how in combat... Do you remember what it was? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you wanted to use a special move, or if you wanted to, you know, change your stance, or if you wanted to increase your focus, the way it works now is you mm -hmm. press the button, and then there's a cast timer, like a timer that goes... And, like, at the end of the timer, then the event happens. Right? Yep. So That's how focus all of button, and works. There's a timer, <laughs> and then at the end of the timer, it's like, boom, your focus level either goes up or not. So you had suggested for combat, why don't they switch that around? So when you press the button, the event happens. So you f like you press it and and you focus right away. And then there's a cooldown timer before the next time that you can use it. Right. Wouldn't that make sense? Because a lot of people think how how combat's so clunky and slow. Imagine. So, I mean, first, wh what do you guys think? Would that make sense? Because. We already have stuff that does that. Right. Imagine, it's imagine if you were doing question. a shield bash and shield bash right. had like a 10 second timer. Right. It doesn't. Shield bash it's is instant. Like one of those things where you press the button and you shield bash right when you press the button. And, and then, then there's a cooldown cool timer. <laughs> so it that shows that it can be done. Like worm isn't action timer base 100 percent now is right, right, okay right. yeah typical should that Agreed. be the entire combat overhaul no no that should be totally the that should be the foundation infrastructure of the combat system they should be like everything be, that we do yeah. moving forward will on the left there's some you'll be able to use right away that's on a deed never mind everything's on a deed but that might not be on the deed that might not be Let's take a look. What kind, are those Oleander? I think so. No, no. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so they should just say everything moving forward within this overhaul that we're about to do, when you click something with combat, it instantly will happen. That's number one. That's what should be. Uh, what they add and how they change it could be whatever the heck they want. Now, I think personally that they should rebalance the special moves and the regular auto attack so that the auto attack does less damage and the special moves all do more damage. Right? Like, they so should your just, auto attack. They should just learn what you're from all of on. the games that came out. I know. All right. Let's see if this is on a deed. Okay. Yeah, these are Oleanders. 
You brought your sickle, Can right? You... Yeah, I'm hoping you did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Lots so... of sprouts already. Yep, this is in the perimeter, so some of them are going to probably be on the deed. Okay, so... Nick, and I don't want to go into an entire combat system, but... Yeah. You know, there's there's so many examples of just basic combat systems, and Worm essentially just needs a basic combat system. That's basic, yeah. And, and even if the background is the same, so even if, for well, example... The deed starts oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna have even to go if we have all of the stuff happening in the background and you can change the different directions of of where you're attacking the mob or whatever, they could still have it so there are uh, special moves of some kind that you unlock progressively as you level up and you could get trained by an expert or something uh, to progress through the fighting system and that it's very apparent when you earn another skill to do. So the whole point is that when you're fighting, you should know what your abilities are. You should have to trigger them to do stuff in the fighting system. And that there's an, a progression of some kind that you are aware of that you're proceeding towards. I mean, that's, that's all you need. Because then at that point, no matter what, you are at least moving towards something. And with this system that we have now, it's, it's not really apparent of when you're moving towards yeah. something. Agreed. And that's that's what they need to do. What Whatever it ends up being, I don't know. As long as at the end of it, we're able to just click some buttons while we're fighting and that the skill that was... we're actually leading towards a progression that we're going to unlock some better skills or else mm. no one is really going to like it. Right. That was not enough Oleander. If they just rebalance stuff, if they just... Oleander goes all the way behind this deed, by the way. So if we're wanting oh, okay, to just okay. keep going, we can. I didn't know the deed ended over there. You know, it goes kind of around the deed. Around it, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see it. It's on the back of the deed. I see. Yeah. <laughs> like this is the Somebody Ole came into an Oleander forest. Oleander forest, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not a forest, but like a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A field of oleander, and then they just deeded their place in the middle. That's all. Okay, is this the perimeter here? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, this is the perimeter. Yeah, awesome. if they just okay. slightly change the way, like... So... I don't know if you're... If you're Socrats or Socrates. But you're saying if it just needs to be animation for the different type of squeeze swings, there that would be already nice. are different animations for the different kinds of swings. Are there? I didn't know that. Yeah. The problem is that even if there wasn't, adding those, no one would have a different opinion on the combat system. Right. It would everyone would have yeah, the yeah. same opinion. It's not gonna just, if that's not the only change. Again, like the same typical as typical as saying, like that one thing isn't going to be the thing that fixes it. Yeah. Know? So, so there's there's two parts to the combat system in Zalbag. You're you're hinting on the second part, which is the enemies. So we can't just have a different combat system for us for for the the player, right? If if they made the changes and they gave us like buttons to press, skills to unlock, abilities to earn, going up and up and up the the fighting scale and making it really cool to to do combat, it still, we wouldn't enjoy it because the enemies themselves would act the same way. And so the second part is that they need to fix the creature system, whatever they want to call it, the creature AI or, or whatever, the movement of them, the way that they attack us, like giving them personality. Uh, it, some of them have a little bit of personality, right? Some of the, 
the horses and the, and the sheep and the deer, they run away from us. And that, that's a good start. But, you know, the, the creature pathing is, we all know, is messed up. They got to fix that. Mm -hmm. But they, they just have to go through it and like, that would be part of what a combat revamp would look like. One, our progression through the combat system and two, our the, the creature AI to make them more fun. And uh, I don't know. Has anybody played any other MMOs where they did it right? In a way that Worm could potentially uh, look at as an example. Mm 